Hey, I'm Lauren from Giorgio Draws and today I'm going to be painting an anemone flower using the wet on dry technique. So today I'm going to be painting using the wet on dry technique and this is a technique that I really enjoy using because it's a great way of adding detail to your work. So I'm going to take you through some of the steps that I use to build up some detail and use the wet on dry technique to do that. Okay, so I've started off with a few pre-mixed colours here and I've just used my Winter and Newton Cartman palette but I've weakened the colours right down so that they're really, really watery. And that's because for this first layer, we want a really translucent wash and we want to be able to still see the sketch coming through so that we can work back into the detail and pull that out. So I have a sketch here that I've already drawn and I'm just putting a light wash down. I'm even adding some extra water as I'm painting, just so that it's really light. So you can see I'm being quite rough here. It doesn't matter too much at the moment. This is just our base layer to get some color down that we can work back into. I'm going to put some green in the middle here, but this whole section I'm going to leave for now because I want that to be really sharp and detailed. So I'm going to leave that and pull it out in another layer. So that is my first layer. That's the wash done. And now I'm going to leave that to dry and come back in a minute. So we're all dry. That took a couple of minutes and I'm going to go back into the painting now and build up the shadows and highlights on this second layer. So to do that, I'm going to need a slightly darker version of these colours that I've been using. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of grey. It's a really weak watered down grey. I'm going to add this to the colours that I've been using. And this way we get a really, really subtle shadow rather than something too harsh. So I'm going to start with shadows and what I'm doing here is I'm just looking for anywhere where the lines cross, the petals overlap, anything that is going to cause a shadow. And where it does, I'm going to go in with this darker shade. what I like to do is wash the brush and then just blend and that will just bleed out and it'll be a really soft shadow. So we're starting to build up a little bit of texture now. I wanted to keep it really, really subtle, which is why I watered down the grey so much. If you're feeling more confident and you want to jump straight in with a darker grey, that's fine. Um, personally, I would rather have the option to add extra layers to build that depth rather than going too heavy too early because it's much easier to add than to take away. So 
I'm, I'm feeling quite happy about the petals and I'm just going to go in and do the same again with our middle and our stem. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and start adding a little bit of detail, but it's just a base layer of detail. So I'm saving the really intricate stuff for the next step, but I want to get the colour down now. So it's going to be really zingy and cool. So that is our shadow layer done. Um, I'm quite happy with the highlights as they are, so we're gonna keep that as is. And we've started to add a little bit, bit of detail as well. So I'm gonna leave that again now, let it dry, and then it's on to detail. Okay, our layer's dry, and I'm gonna go back in now and get some really fine details out. So for this, I'm going in with my smallest brush yet. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just smooth over anything that's dried with quite strong lines. I want it to be a really nice natural blend. Okay, so in terms of adding detail, I'm just going to keep doing what I did before. So I'm looking for those shadows and highlights and I'm looking at what needs pulling out more than it has done already. What isn't standing out enough. So right now I want some more depth and I want some more detail in the middle. So I'm going to start by adding a final layer of shadow to anything that needs it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more black to the pink mixture that we used. So I'm just focusing now on adding a little bit of texture back into this flower because with all of the blending that we've done, it can start to feel quite, um, quite flat and too smooth. So I want some texture in there. So I'm just going in and adding those lines that you see if you look really closely on petals. And then in these areas where I've already added shadow, I'm going to need an even darker line just to stand out from that a little bit. So 
So for the seeds, I'm just trying to get the right colour here. I want something that still has this vibrancy, but that is darker. There we go. So that I can pull out some shadows. So at the moment, this is looking like a big blob and I want it to look like lots of individual seeds. So I'm going to start pulling out some detail. feeling like I want to add a slightly darker layer again. This is one of the things with wet on dry is you can just keep going and going forever but the key is to know when you've added enough detail. And right now I don't feel like I have so I'm going to carry on. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a few highlights. So for this I'm using Dr. PH Martin's Blue Proof White and it's just like a super opaque thick white and it's perfect because it will cover watercolour without leaving any translucency so you can really make things pop. So what I'm going to do is the same thing I've been doing all along. Uh, I'm going to add the white to the colour. Because I don't want to drop on a pure white highlight, it will look too blinding at, at this point. So I'm just going to create a slight highlight first. Okay guys, I'm going to stop it there because I'm really aware that this video could go on and on and on, but uh, I hope that's given you a bit more of an insight into how I use wet on wet to build up layers of detail and texture. Um, you can keep going with this forever more, however detailed you want your pieces to be, add more layers, just keep going with it. Um, personally, I would probably keep working on this for maybe another two or three layers just because I love my work to have that super detailed look. But uh, for the time being, I'm going to leave this one where she is. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please do subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you. Happy painting. <laughs>